और अगैस यू वेलकम बैक वंस अगेन इफ़ यूर समन यू टू माई चैनल माई नेम इज़ निखलेश एंड आई लिव हेयर इन बर्लिन टुडे वी आर हेयर टू टॉक अबाउट इलेक्ट्रिकल इंजीनियरिंग हाउ कैन यू स्टार्ट योर मास्टर्स सो इफ़ यूर समन हु इज़ करंटली स्टार्टिंग इलेक्ट्रिकल इंजीनियरिंग और इन्फॉर्मेशन टेक्नोलॉजी ईदर ऑफ द एरियाज और कॉम्बिनेशन देन दिस वीडियो इज़ फॉर यू इफ़ यू आर अ स्टूडेंट हु इज़ करंटली परसुइंग बैचलर्स और इफ़ यू आर समन हु इज़ ऑलरेडी ग्रेजुएटेड एंड वर्किंग इन द इंडस्ट्री नाउ दैट यू हैव डिसाइड टू कम टू एजुकेशन this video is for you the key highlights what you will be getting to see here in this video is i'll be showing you the list of universities how you can prepare a university list what kind of specializations you can do what kind of job roles are available in the market and, and what kind of salaries do people get once they graduate from one of the german universities so these are the areas which we will be covering so make sure that you watch today's video till the end so before we begin there is a google form in the description of this video you can jump onto that and fill in your details we'll stay in touch we'll see what best we can do for you when it comes to helping you with the admission or the visa support whether it's this year 2022 or for next year 2023 if some of you are interested to have this presentation i'll uh, give it in the description or i'll send it uh, over to you via email once you have filled out a google form if you're interested to talk to me personally and talk about your profile people also you know very often book personal appointment with me so you can click it right here and it will take you directly onto that a uh, website where you can book the appointment i've been doing this long enough now for a little over 4 or 5 years now and i've seen thousands of students and and i'm happy to tell you that i've been part of their success story and exactly by doing that mentorship was actually born uh, i learned a lot on the ground here that what are the do's and don'ts and uh, that's how i've designed my 12 months of program you can easily become part of it by enrolling it by clicking on the link on the screen or in the description i'm going to drop a link there this mentorship basically starts helping you while you're in india and it only stops here in germany when you're on a part time job so that's how the whole chapters are designed some of the highlights are already mentioned on the screen right here but then this is just like the tip of the iceberg it goes really really deep so to begin with if you're someone who is currently studying let's say in x university okay and you want to know whether your university or the course what you are studying in that university in your bachelor's is that recognized or not as per german database which is called as anabin basically in a nutshell anabin's job is to is to see the equivalence of your bachelor's what you studied bachelor's in mechanical in india let's say for example to bachelor's here in germany in mechanical and what you have to see is your university has something called as h plus so i'll quickly show you how you can check your university whether it's approved by anabin or not just go on google and type anabin.de when you're here go to the first link right here and go to institution okay go to search let me just switch this for you in english Oh my selection I think it's there from previously so it's selected India in your case you have to open country selection and just press i and it will show India or a list of countries with i confirm place where in India let's say I want to check Mumbai I'm going to go and type m and then say uh Mumbai Maharashtra so this is where you will see amity university mumbai uh, it's a private university and it's h plus that means it's approved and likewise you have to go and look for your university you can change the city name to something else wherever you come from you know and then uh, let's say mangalore you can see it right here okay so for example this university it's h minus now that this university is h minus this whoever is studying in this university will have to go through an extra process of validating their degree and a university from anabin and there is a altogether different process which i don't want to get into right now but yes make sure that your university is h plus list of documents what you need to apply in a university which is uh, right here nine things uh, primarily bachelor's degree transcripts for all eight semesters consolidated mark sheets or if you're someone who is currently in eighth semester then provisional degree you need sop let's say you are applying for 10 different universities then you need 10 different sops uh, designed 
you need three at least three uh, letter of recommendations ielts 6.5 overall and you need to give academic ielts not general ielts there are two types that's why work experience letter if you have any internship or eca stands for extra curricular activity uh if you have published some academic papers uh cv in europass format a uh, course module book course module book is uh, basically your entire mechanical engineering uh, you know in a pdf format what was the course content what you were taught which you can get it from your administration so these are the nine documents which are the basis of application so there are two intakes in germany one is in summer one is in winter summer starts in april the deadline is 15th of jan normally the application actually begins in by november december onwards for winter it starts in october the deadline is may uh, 15 sometimes the deadlines can also go till june 15 so in germany uh, the application is done via three ways via university portal via my assist or combination of first and second now how do you know that which way a university is willing to take your application well you will have to check on the course website now if you've seen me talking about german gpa so this is what the breakdown of german gpa is so one is the highest you can score here in this country four is bare minimum like just pass anything beyond four is fail now many of you would already have your grades into either cgpa or sgpa or percentage how can you calculate that from that grading system to german gpa i have i have this link right here uh which i'm going to click now and it will take us directly onto the website of technical university munich we're going to convert the grades let's say the highest what uh, highest cgpa one can get is 10 uh the bare minimum required to pass the degree is 5 and you got let's say 7.2 that's your german gpa right here you know 2.6 is something what you have got if yours would be let's say 8 then it's 2.2 so this is how you calculate grades so moving forward from here on all right now that you have seen that there are so many colleges how do you keep track of them there is a there has to be a structure to it So in Nikshala in our company we follow certain way of doing things which has been the most efficient what I've seen over the course of time you're on Google make sure that you go ahead and make this on Google sheet right here now that you're here uh, first of all go ahead and change the name of the file university so this is a kind of structure what I personally uh, would like to have when it comes to you know shortlisting of the university it starts with serial number right here then it goes on to university and uh, under university there is two types one is the university name and the type of university so if it's tu then you write tu right here okay uh and then there is a course uh what course is this so you know in this case it's computational engineering you can see that how many semesters the program is of what is the deadline does it require you to have german or not does it require you to have ielts or not uh what is the prerequisite have they given any bachelor's requirement what they need what gpa what german gpa does it require like for example 2.5 first class with distinction ects requirement if it's 210 or 180 if it requires sop or not if it's yes then just type yes lor then how many lors if you have given test AS or GRE what has been your score here mode of application is it via uni assist or is it via direct portal you know then the the course website as you can see it's right here it's displaying out and if you have any email id of the course coordinator this is the typical format i like to follow here it has proven to be very successful for last so many Years I have used this format with different students. All right, so let's move on from here. This is where I'm going to give you a list of universities for electrical engineering masters. You can have this presentation. I'm going to put this in the description of this video. When you open this, come here and click here. I have embedded a link, and this is the website it opens up to. All right, so the moment you click that link, this is where you show up. There's total of seventy two results. What you can see here, uh, all of this is for winter intake. 2022 if you're someone who is about to graduate this list is perfect for you 
uh, it doesn't matter if you're looking this video even in 2023 summer or winter there's a total of eight pages all in all and uh, there's no tuition fees only semester contribution uh, all of this is english taught program so let's just go into one of the cards and let me show you what they are basically looking for let's go into this university of rostock electrical engineering you see and you can you know you can say like there are two major fields you can select from information technology or power engineering so they need at least 180 credits uh, in electrical or related specific field they need a cgpa or percentage of at least 85 percent or higher and then 24 credits specifically they're asking for mathematics and at least six credits in theoretical electro uh, electrical engineering il 6.5 so this is how you know you can start making your own application so this is how you can start making your own list of universities and uh, my recommendation would be that at least apply in 20 to 25 universities once you have this presentation you can get this list directly from there so i'm back at the presentation moving from here on specializations so these are some of the specializations what students are doing i spoke to a couple of students before making this video actually just to have an understanding of what's really happening their point of view was also about some of the students when they have graduated like their seniors they are also working in power grid and different like a hardcore electrical uh, on the power side uh, otherwise the specializations what students are doing right now is uh, smart information processing, communication systems, nano and opto electronics, uh, power electronic systems and technology, smart systems. So, you know, sensors, semiconductor, uh, EV is pretty good, uh, wire harnessing and routing, electrical MEP, signal processing. So, these are some of the areas where you can start specializing yourself at least from second semester onwards. Your course is going to be a four semester in total. Jobs and salary. So, when you have this presentation uh, click here i've embedded a link which will take you to a different website which is this one so when you press that link this is where you're going to land so the average salary per month for a electrical engineer can be starting from 3800 euros going all the way till 5800 euros the good thing about this website is it will also show you the uh, job openings in which city uh, it is in and then uh, what profession what designation the job is about one thing i've learned about electrical engineering uh, department is you need to speak german like b2 to c1 level of german to get a full-time employment i'm just showing you this website so that you get an idea like a ballpark of what to expect when you graduate here in germany as a master's student so in munich per month the average salary is 4600 going all the way till 7000 euros depending on the amount of experience you bring in on the table. So annually, this is what the range is, which is 57,000 going all the way till 88,000 euros. Electrical engineering jobs are widespread in different domains. Uh, for example, medical, for example, uh, software engineering world, for example, architecture, civil. So, yeah. We are on the last slide. If you want to get enrolled for the program, you can just click right here. Uh, as I said, you can have this PDF for yourself and uh yeah get in touch with us we'll be happy to help you out so yeah if you have made it till here thank you so much for tuning in now that you have the list of colleges and all the required documents go ahead and apply whether or not you want our help but make sure that you're tight on your timeline uh because that's where a lot of people make mistakes so having said that thank you so much and uh, if you like this video please go ahead and hit that thumbs up button and i'm going to see you guys next time Bye bye